Hello, my name is Sarah and this is Utterly Reading. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be using my TBR game to choose my September TBR. Okay, so if you did not watch my uh, booktube newbie tag that I posted, um, I have a TBR game and it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I have a box that has different prompts cut out and taped onto it and I throw knives at them. I have six knives in the set so I do six throws. And when I hit a prompt, I pull it off and I replace it with a new one and then choose a book for that prompt. Okay, so for my first throw, I got a five-star prediction, and I actually have this little miniature book of monsters that my sister made for me that's actually a little box, um, and I have a handful of them in here, not very many right now, but hopefully there will be more soon, so I'm going to just choose a slip of paper out of here and see what I will be reading. All right, so they're all folded up so I can't see them. The first one, let's go with this one, is 10,000 Doors of January, which is actually <laughs> right here. How lucky is that? Okay, so book number one, 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. It says, as the ward of the wealthy Mr. Locke, January Scaller, feels little different from the artifacts that decorate his sprawling mansion, carefully maintained, largely ignored, and utterly out of place. But when she finds a strange book, one that tells a tale of secret doors of love, adventure, and danger, for the first time, January realizes she can escape her story and sneak into someone else's. So, this one is a beautiful cover, and I really, really hope that I am going to enjoy it. So the second book that I got is a library recommendation and so my library actually has the option that you can go onto the website, tell them what you're looking for, what kind of books you do like, what kind of books you don't like, and then they will send an email to you and it will have like three to, three to five book recommendations on there. One of them that I got back in January that I have not read yet is His and Hers by Alice Feeney. I don't have it yet, but it is on the way, so I will put a picture of it up here. The description says, there are two sides to every story, yours and mine, ours and theirs, his and hers, which means someone is always lying. When a woman is murdered in Blackdown, a quintessentially British village, newsreader Anna Andrews is reluctant to cover the case. Detective Jack Harper is suspicious of her involvement until he becomes a suspect in his own murder investigation someone isn't telling the truth and some secrets are worth killing to keep so i really am into the thrillers right now and i um i haven't read any by alice feeney before but i am really curious to try out this one and hopefully at some point i do want to try rock paper scissors because i've heard that one is pretty good as well so that will be my choice for book number two library recommendation <laughs> Throw number 
number three, I got a new release. And actually right now from my library, I have The Horoscope Writer by Ash Bishop. It, it's just keep, it, it's caught my eye like every time that I've gone into the library. So I finally picked it up and I didn't even realize that it just came out in July. So the synopsis says Capricorn. Mars, the assertive planet, moves across your sign into the house of death, transforming your buried emotions into an all-consuming rage. Recently hired horoscope writer Bobby Friendly receives an email containing anonymous and threatening predictions that range from ridiculously specific to downright sadistic. Bobby dismisses them as silly, harmless horoscopes nobody believes anyway. But everything changes when they start to come true. So I've never read any by this author either. Um, I am really curious to try it um, and see, it sounds really intriguing, the writing and the horoscopes, um, it just sounds really interesting. So I'm going to try this one out. I got is a thriller and I have a handful of these that I need to get to um, that I actually have on my shelves um, and I picked out a couple um, one I've needed to get to for a long time and the other one is a newer one that I got so the first one is Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn yes I have not read this yet I have heard amazing things I need to get that sticker off but I've heard amazing things about this book and I'm really curious. I want to see if I like it as well. Um, it says, On a warm summer morning in North Carthage, Missouri, it is Nick and Amy Dunn's fifth wedding anniversary. Presents are being wrapped and reservations are being made when Nick's clever and beautiful wife disappears. As the police begin to investigate, the town golden boy parades a series of lies, deceits, and inappropriate behavior. Nick is oddly evasive, and he's definitely bitter. But is he really a killer? So I've heard amazing things about this one. The other one I was debating on was The Chain. I actually heard about this one from Kayla at Books and Lala, and it just sounded insane and, it, and super intriguing. Um, so what I remember from her talking about this is that a mom drops her kid off to go to school. Her kid disappears. Um, as somebody calls her with a ransom saying, that she can get her child back if she kidnaps somebody else's child and holds them ransom the same way. So it's just like a chain reaction. It sounds super intriguing and I'm really, really, really curious about it. So choosing between these two, I think I am gonna go for the one that's been on my TBR longer and that is Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. So I am by, is it Jillian or Gillian? Either way, I'm going to try this one and see how it goes. So book number five, I got most recent purchase. And my mom actually took me shopping a couple weeks ago, as like a belated birthday thing, because my birthday was back in July. Um, and I got a book when we were out. And it is Lessons in Chemistry. I have seen this one around and I'm kind of curious about it. It's something that's maybe a little bit different than what I usually read, but I'm gonna try it and see. So the synopsis says, children set the table, your mother needs a, no a moment to herself. Chemist Elizabeth Zott is not your average woman. In fact, Elizabeth Zott would be the first to point out that there is no such thing as an average woman. But it's the early 1960s and her all-male team at Hastings Research Institute takes a very unscientific view of equality. Except for one, Calvin Evans, the lonely, brilliant, Nobel Prize nominated grudge holder who falls in love with, of all things falls in love with, of all things, her mind. True chemistry results. Like science, though, life is unpredictable, which is why a few years later, Elizabeth Zott, 
Zott finds herself not only a single mother, but also the reluctant star of America's most beloved cooking show, Supper at Six. Elizabeth's unusual approach to cooking combined one tablespoon, tablespoon acetic acid with a pinch of sodium chloride proves revolutionary, but as her following grows, not everyone is happy, because as it turns out, Elizabeth Zott isn't just teaching women to cook, she's daring them to change the status quo. Laugh out loud funny, shrewdly observant, and studded with a dazzling cast of supporting characters, Lessons in Chemistry is as original and vibrant as its protagonist. So I'm really curious about this one. This is the most recent one that I have acquired, um, and so I will give it a shot in September. Ooh, everything's falling. Okay, and then my very last book, very last throw, I chose a fantasy, and I have a couple, well, I have quite a few options for this in all reality. So my first option is Bruin by John Gwynn. This is the third book in the Faithful and the Fallen series, um, the first two being Malice and Valor, Malice and Valor. Um, I finished this one up at the beginning of August, and this series is really not one that like you want to take too much time in between, at least not for me. Just a lot of people, a lot of things going on, and I really, really have enjoyed it. So this one um, follows a handful of people, but it's basically a war of the gods and giants and just all kinds of magic. The political system and the magic system in this one are really interesting and I absolutely love the characters and I really would like to continue this series so that way I don't forget who anybody is or what's going on. The other one is the start of a series. It is Soul Keeper by David Doglish. I have read um, The Bladed Faith and the Sapphire Altar, The Vagrant Vagrant Gods series by him and I absolutely loved them and I cannot wait for the next one to come out. So this is the series that he wrote before the Vagrant Gods and it also sounds super intriguing. I'd really like to try out his writing in a different aspect than the Vagrant Gods. Try something um, a little bit different but this is the start of another series. So I think between these two I'm gonna have to go with Bruin this book is a big one. It is over 700 pages, but I would really like to keep going in this one. So this, I think, is going to be my choice for a fantasy. So all in all, there's five books here, and I have one that I am going to pick up from the library. So I have the horoscope writer for um, a new release. Uh, lessons in Chemistry for my most recent purchase, uh, Ruin for a Fantasy, Gone Girl for a Thriller, 10,000 Doors of January for my five-star prediction, and then I will also have His and Hers by Alice Feeney that I will also try and get to this month. Um, the other thing that I would like to mention is I am trying to figure out some kind of a punishment for myself with my game if I do not finish all of these. Um, and I'm not sure what to do for that yet. So if you have any recommendations, um, feel free to leave a comment and give me some ideas. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hopefully will have a lot more coming than just this. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a great reading month. Happy reading!